Welcome to Shed Ascent Statues, and today we're reviewing Kakashi. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. This is the packaging he came in. So it wasn't much. Um, you can see here, it's just Kakashi all in one piece and his base. Oh yeah, I forgot my new friend. Meet Comet. Hey Comet, step up. Good boy. This is our new friend, Comet the Cockatiel. Um, we got him on Sunday, so we've only had him for a week. It's pretty cool. He's quite chirpy. He likes making videos, I think he does, because that's when he starts to chirp up. Makes a bit more um, noise in the mornings. Um, and yeah, he's learned to step up and he likes talking to you guys. So I'll put him back on my shoulder. That's actually a mission. Hopefully he comes on. And that's, oh no. Let's get it going over here. Cool. Back to the statue review. So I got this guy off Wish. It was $5 US, which is nothing. Um, and oh, that was for the shipping. $5 US for the shipping and $7.50 US for the actual product. Uh, I'll give you a few close ups soon. Um, how he comes together is just simply clips in, one clip, that's it. So, okay, we're gonna start this one off a bit different this time. We're gonna start off with 10 facts about Kakashi. I, thought, I think it'll be a cool thing to do on all the new pieces, giving a bit of information about the piece or about the character. Um, one, obviously, he wears a mask, and that mask is to, oh, you okay, buddy? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, that mask is to actually cover up a mole he hides and his identity. He's actually got a mole over here on his face. I'll give you a close up of that soon. His mole is over here. That's where his mole is. In fact number two, the voice actor dubbed him, um, also dubs Charlie Sheen in the Japanese version of the uh, comedy series Two and a Half Men. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, his last name's Hidan. Um, that one's a pretty common one, but for those that you don't know, that's Kakashi. Um, he graduated at age five for the fact number four. Uh, he graduated as a tuning at age six. Sorry, this guy's been walking all over the place today. Um, let's put him down here. Fact number five, he got the mang... Oh, blah. He got the mang... He got the Manga Kill Sharingan um, far before he could use it. So for those that, of you that don't know, it's a special eye power that he has. Fact number six, Kakashi actually means farmland scarecrow um, in Japanese. So that's the translation of his name. Fact number seven, he died if you can't remember. Um, I don't know if that'll be a spoiler, but I think it'll be a good one. <laughs> don't hate me, um, there's more to it. This looks like good bird toys. Fact number nine, um, Kakashi is a perv. If you didn't know that, well, I don't know what series you're watching because he's always reading romance novels or romance novels in public. Um, the last fact and the easy fact is he's the owner of Chidori or Chidori, this move that he's doing right now. So now that that's out of the way, we can get into the review. Cool, that's about as much of my cool effects that you're going to get in these videos. Um, we'll jump right into it. So, from first impressions of what you can see, it looks like a cool model from the, uh, but your, the face, something's up with the face. Um, I'll give you a close up of this. As you can see that his eyes look just a bit off, like they're slanted on his face, and it's got a nasty seam line. Um, 
on his, yeah, on the face sculpt. Um, that's where it's glued together. Um, yeah, that's where it's glued together. Uh, the pose is quite dynamic. I do like that. But there's one bad thing about this is that to get the dynamic pose off of this particular sculpt or this particular piece, and it's that it can only be seen properly if you're looking basically at eye level to it. Because right now you're looking down, you're looking slightly down how you normally would see the sculpture. And that's what it looks like. But if it were if it were to be at eye level, let's just try to if it were to be at eye level, you can see how close to the ground he is. Um, and you can't see any of the detail or anything below. So all the stuff below, over here, that's all getting missed in the piece. His pouch looks fine, but there, there's no texturing to this. There's just a pretty plain PVC soft statue. Um, I wouldn't expect much more for paying what I did, um, but I'm not let down for paying what I did because I'm seeing things charged a lot more for a lot less. Now the detail on the back, um, it's got the hidden leaf crest, I'm oh, not the hidden leaf crest, um, I can't even remember the name of the crest. I think it is the hidden leaf crest at the back and as you can see here, there's two leaf emblems on his head. And you can see what I was talking about with the mask just sitting a bit funny. It looks like it lifts off his face. His face lifts off his face, which looks a little bit weird. The paint job, uh, yeah, from, from that, the paint job's pretty bad. But, and his eyes, you can see that they are slightly weirdly placed, in my opinion. There's no detail in the shouting gun. Um, if there is, it's not done very well, it's just done by a couple lines. The, the actual Chidori, uh, Chidori Lightning, that's done awesomely. It's just, you can't get that in resin half the time, they'll never come out of the mould. So that's really cool. Um, you can see his uh, kunai sash over here. Sorry, you can see his kunai sash over here. That looks alright, but it's the same colour as his pants, so I think that's a big letdown. Um, and there's no other line work or line detail. Nothing in on his toes, um, nothing to differentiate. But the sculpt is uh, out of 10, I'd give it a 5. Um, yeah, 5 for the amount of detail that went into it. So, would I buy this statue again? Even though it's a five, even though there's a bit of detail that's mucked up, for seven bucks, uh, seven fifty US, definitely. I don't think it looks that bad. I think it looks pretty cool um, in the distance, unless you walk up um, and have a good gaze at it. You're not going to really be let down, which is exactly what you want for the amount of money you're spending. Oh, what are you doing? Watch this, he likes head scratches. Come here. <laughs> it's more like what? So thanks for staying throughout the whole review. It's pretty cool that you watched till the end of the video. It'll be cool if you give me a like, comment or subscribe. Um, there's also my Instagram handle down below if you'd like to check that out. I post a lot of pictures of other statues that I'm making currently and hopefully, hopefully you stay around for the next video. Cheers!